This is no ordinary apple. It's a magic wishing apple. A wishing apple? Yes. One bite and all your dreams come true. Really? Yes, girlie. Now make a wish and take a bite. There must be something your little heart desires. Perhaps it's someone you love. Well, there is someone. I thought so. Old Granny knows a young girl's heart. Now take the apple, dearie, and make a wish. A wish? That's I it, go on. And he will carry me away to his castle and we will live happily ever after. Hey guys, it's Denine. I did this cute little tutorial for you today. It's Snow White with a twist. Um, the first person who showed me this, uh, her name is Anna. I will link her in the description below. She's amazing and I love her. And if you guys want to learn how to do this look, just keep watching. You can also add some gore to this. You don't have to keep it just skeleton. Um, I show you how to do some of that at the end of this video. So keep watching. First you want to prime your face so that you don't get any pimples and all that fun stuff. I'm using NARS Face Primer. Take a white and black face cream and then mix them together to get the desired gray that you want and then start painting your face. You can erase your brows with glue or you can just paint right over them. That's what I did. I didn't feel like picking out glue out of my eyebrows. But if you want a dramatic look and completely erase your brows, just use glue and then paint over top of that. Now using this black from Ben Nye, I'm just creating my eyebrows with a deep arch and an eyeliner brush. I'm going above my eyebrows but starting at the base of my brow to kind of get the same look but a little more dramatic. Do this on both eyebrows and then move on to your nose. Using the same Ben Nye Black and an eyeliner brush, just create an upside down heart. Fill this all in and make sure that it's opaque. With the same Ben Nye and the eyeliner brush, you want to create a sort of S that goes underneath your cheekbones towards your mouth. The key to this look is shading, so we'll be doing a lot of that. So what you want to do is just take a flat shader brush and start shading. Fill in those little curves that you just made with the same Ben Nye. Make an angry face and just fill in the little spaces with the black Ben Nye. You can make little tiny lines everywhere and kind of make it in your forehead and above your brows and all on your cheeks and whatnot to make it look like cracks. Blend out those lines that you just created so they don't look as perfect. Make a line with the Ben Nye all the way from your cheekbones that you created down to your jawline. And then blend that all out. Use Ben Nye Clown White underneath your eyes and just create a thick, opaque, a uh, circle kind of around your under eye so that it looks like your eyes are bigger than they are. Create a U shape underneath the white you just placed for a new lash line. This will be where you place your fake lashes. You 
Using a gray color and a flat brush for the eyeshadow, just place the eyeshadow on your eyelids and smudge them. This does not have to be perfect. Here I'm using Print by MAC. Using a pencil brush and Carbon by MAC, you just want to place this color just in the crease of your eye and then blend that all out. It'll give it great dimension. Create a highlight on your new brow bone. I'm just using a water face paint and going underneath the eyebrow that we just made. You can take the same white and highlight your cheekbones. I'm also going down and highlighting my jawline. I'm just making sure to blend everything together and adding more black when you need to. This creates kind of a more contoured look. With a really skinny eyeliner brush and clown white, go under the brow that you just drew. This will make the eyebrows really pop. Using the same white that you just used and the eyeliner brush, make sure that you go between the lines that we just created. This will make the look stand out and almost look 3D. The more detail that you add, the creepier and the better it will look. To create the teeth, I'm using the Krylon White uh, face paint that's water-based and an eyeliner brush. I'm just making the outline first on both the top and the bottom and then going back in with the Ben Nye Black and just creating the definition in that. The top teeth are more pointy and the bottom teeth are more squared off. With the black Ben Nye, I'm just going in between, connecting from the cheekbones to the lips and then going on the middle of the lips, but not too much, just a little bit. And then outline those creepy teeth of yours. With whatever you have left over on your brush, just make little lines in between where the black was placed in between the teeth. This will make it look really, really creepy. Kind of blend that out as you can and make sure that it's not so defined because then it looks almost fake. Add little touch-ups as you need to. Take a foundation brush and the same color that you used on your face and just place little lines kind of thing in the shape of a skeleton and then you want to make like a circle kind of around your chest and two big lines from that. And then to contour these, just make little sort of L's on the outside and blend them in. And then use Ben Nye and fill in all the spaces that you didn't do. And if you cover some of the highlighting that you did, or like the contouring, just go back in with the same and just redo it because it looks really good when it shows up. Create a cat eye with your liquid liner. It's just flicking it up at the edge of the corner of your eye and then pulling that back towards the line that you just made on your eye. Put some mascara on only the tops of your eyes and then add some darkness underneath as you want to and add these cute little lashes with little bows on them. I doubled them up with another uh, set of eyelashes just because I wanted them to be quite thick and then you just put that on top of your lash line and place them into place. Make sure that the glue is sticky before you put this on because it is a mess when you try to and it's not sticky and that usually takes about 30 seconds. Here I'm just using some lashes I had left over from whatever it was. I'm going to cut them up 
And make sure when you cut them up that you put them kind of in order that you're going to place in your eye because you want the longer ones to be at the corner of your eye to get that cat eye effect. I'm cutting them up so that they are kind of split up and that I'll add some individual ones in between because if it's just one single piece, it looks sort of silly. So here I'm just adding some individuals in those places that I didn't have lashes. It makes everything look so flawless and I really do like this look. Here I'm just going back in with my liquid liner, adding some final touches, making it look so you can't see the glue and all that fun stuff. I think I'll forever be adding final little touches. Everything's just always got to be perfect. I'm sort of a perfectionist. So here I'm just using some thick blood and this sponge that's kind of perfect for splattering blood. You just want to put it on your forehead and your chest and your chin and you're done. Follow me on Instagram for more makeup looks at Deneen Dale. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next tutorial. Bye, my lovers. <laughs>